Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, you probably can just see my arm. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to flash uh, uh, we're going to flash the vampire yeah, in my Amiga 2000. We did a, a video previously where we looked at the Amiga 600. It's exactly the same procedure. But today we're going to be doing the V2500. So, the first issue is, it says, oh, well, let's talk about the software first. When it finishes loading, I'm messing about. Okay, what I'm running here, let me just reset that so it connects to the Amiga. The Amiga Vampire is, uh, is all running at the moment. It's booted up fired up into workbench you can't see it it needs to mess about with the resolutions and all the other stuff but we'll show you it through the Amiga capture card the PC capture card rather it might burst into life might not okay it matters not well what we're interested in today is um, Oh, actually, it'd be quite nice if the video card did work, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Right. Let's have a look at this, see if it finds the blaster. Uh, tools, we want the programmer. USB blaster O, okay. I wonder if you can actually see another writing on the screen. Let me try, see if I can zoom in a bit. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be um, blasting the um, Vampire 2. Uh, and how we're going to do that is with this Quarter 2 software. This is the Altera program for flashing the Altera chip, the FPGA, which is inside, or on top of, in this case, the Vampire 2. So this is, let's see what it is. Uh, about. So this is the Quartus 2 64-bit web edition um, programming software and development software and all the rest of it. The only bit I'm interested in is the programmer. Don't care about the rest of it, not interested. But this is what you have to download to be able to flash the vampire. Okay, what we're looking at here is hardware flashing of the vampire um, rather than Amiga software flashing of the vampire, which we'll look at in a little while. So, we have Quartus 2 installed. You download this from Alteria, from their um, uh, down software download page. It's free to download. You do have to register, but it's a free download. Uh, download this, the smallest version that they have, the compact web, web edition. It's not particularly compact. It's still quite a large download. But um, that will include everything you need. So then, let's look at what we've got. File, edit, view, projects, assignments, processing, and tools. We're interested in tools at the moment. We're going to go to Programmer. Here we are at the programming page. Now the USB blaster is already plugged into my USB port. There's a red LED shining brightly on the little uh, USB box. So then we're going to add a file. Uh, it's a JIC, a JIC that we need. Now mine may or may not be. In fact, we'll download a new one so you know how to do it. Wow, we'll blow it a long time ago. 
Okay, home. Apollo. Vampire. Oh, should spell it wrong. Vampire. Wiki. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, downloads. It's not the wiki, I meant to click wiki, but I didn't. Right, the latest stable core is 2.9, released on the 7th of the 4th, 18. Right, okay. This, uh, this is the wiki page that I was trying to look for, but I couldn't remember what it was called. It's wiki Apollo accelerators.com. So, latest cores. And so, you will see two types of, if, uh, well, two banks of information. We have the V600 V2 and we have the V500 V2 Plus. Now then, the V600 is for obviously the Amiga 600 and the V500 is the Amiga 500 and 2000 model. Uh, our Amiga 1000 as well if you wish. So obviously I'm running the Amiga V500 at the moment, the V2. Now the core I have on there currently if I, well, the core I have currently is the fastest that I could run at the time. 2.9, it was probably a 10 times 10 because that's the last EXE. And the last time I updated it, I updated it from the Amiga rather than using the blaster. I couldn't be bothered to pull the cover off of the Amiga. But anyway, we're going to go from a 10 now to an 11. So we'll download the JIG file. Oh, not like that. Go back. We'll download the JIG file rather than click on it. Uh, save target as. Stick it on the desktop. Stick it on the desktop. Okay. Oh, I've already got it. V500 G29 7. Dash 11. Oh, it's 9.7 then. The one I had originally was 9. Ooh. Okay. So let's try that. So it's finished downloading. Let's just make sure it is where it says it is. You want to close all tabs? Yes, please. My computer. Okay, we have. Looking at the cores there, I'm not sure you can see this, but I hope you can. We have V500. Uh, G29.7 we have 0.9 gold 2.9 we have V500 2.7 and V2.7 pre so the latest version is obviously the gold 2.9.7 now this is 11 speed times 11 we do have a 12 there but of gold 2.7 we're going to go for 2.9 release 7 if you will and it's 11 speed times 11 11 times clock so we'll open that. Now then, as you can see, we have the map of what it's doing. It's going to, it's going to um, flash the Altera FPGA. So we're going to program. We're going to verify. I'm not going to blank check. Um, the Amiga is on. The Amiga is running. So now I'm going to hit start. The Amiga's gone blank. I'm not sure if you can see that. So the screen you can see just over there. It's the Amiga screen. Ninety-three percent. There we are. Progress: two percent, three percent, four percent. So it's zooming along at a fair, a fair rate. Now I've done this numerous times. The reason you would do a hardware flash is if you want to do some of the. Uh, test builds that have not been released as an EXE that can be run from the Amiga from the CLI or just from clicking on it. But I'll show you how you can do that on the Amiga itself shortly. I won't do it now. Well, obviously I've got to wait while we finish. But how's the weather where, where you guys and girls are? It's beautiful here in England. It's uh, 27 degrees outside. It's a Friday afternoon, I've just finished work. It's beautiful and warm. Too warm to be indoors, but I'm doing this for you guys.
I said no, I'm going to finish this video. So it's just verifying now. And it should reboot the Amiga very shortly. Finished. Okay. Now what you have to do, uh, sorry, it won't reboot the Amiga. What you have to do is turn the Amiga off, leave it for a number of seconds and power it back on again. So we'll do that. So I'll, first thing I'll do is I'll pause the video, kneel down on the desk, turn the Amiga off and then we'll come back. So we'll just pause. Okay, so I've rebooted the Amiga. As you can see, we have Gold 2.9, but it did say that before. So we can close this now because we've finished. It modified. No, I don't want to save changes. Go away. Go away. Okay, so this is my recording, uh, recording software on here that captures the Amiga video for doing streams and things. And this is the actual real Amiga screen. Now I have to try and remember how to tell you what core it is. We have done 2.9 times 11. So we'll um, see if I can remember how to do that. Nope, I've got the chair stuck on the radio. Uh, right, let's get CLI up. Uh, core, uh, I did it. Is it Vampire Core? I don't remember. Vampire Core. Oh, where's my phone? I've forgotten how to do it. Let's do a speed test. I'll tell us what it is. Oh, I bet that's booting to... Um, RGB and I haven't plugged the RGB leads in. Oh, I have plugged the RGB leads in. Oh, I'm a good boy. Okay, speed. Let's see what we've got. 188. Okay. Go away, Scott logo. I can't see. I can't see my doings. Okay, 104, 51 at megaflops. Super fast. Boards. Got loads of boards. Yeah, look at those babies. Okay. That's obviously how you flash it. It obviously works. So, thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Not very exciting, but there you go. It's more of a how-to than a why. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.